In this short video, I'm going to introduce you to using sketch layers. But before I do that, I wanted to show you some other things that are related to the vector data information that we've been talking about. You will not have to do some of the things that I'm doing in this video until later in the semester. I am looking right now at a set of data that I created. It actually uses polygons for different countries of the world. And the attributes in these poly polygons include the number of shoes that are produced in each of the top 10 shoe producing countries of the world. So the, these are the data right here. And I wanted to show you that when you have a layer open and you turn the symbology on, you can edit that symbology. And you can edit that symbology by looking at the field, which is another name for the attribute. And I made an attribute when I created these data called shoe production. So I'm going to add that. And then it changes my um, choices over here. So I can choose a style for how I want these attributes to be displayed. Um, it immediately chooses um, what makes the most sense. And in this case, the most sense is a graduated color. Um, but I might instead decide to um, just look at um, the so number of shoes produced using graduated circles here instead. And I actually think that that's what I'm going to do. I think that's probably the most accurate thing for this particular map. It shows um, China, which by far and away produces the most shoes, as a much larger circle than these other countries do. I can also go in here and I can change things like the color. Um, currently, it uses this sort of orangish color. I'm going to choose it to the sort of purple color here, but I'm going to choose the a transparency that's not quite so garish here. When I'm done with that, I should be able to say done. And now I will be able to look at this particular layer right here. And it also makes a little legend for me as well. Okay, so that's the first thing that I wanted to show you um, was just this idea of using attributes that are behind vector data to make some sort of a map. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to change the background of the map. So you may very well have loaded some data onto your map and it uses the sort of basic background that we have here. But I'd like to choose something that allows the colors to pop out a little bit more. And so I'm going to go to the layers um, properties here and I'm going to go to the base map and I'm going to change the base map um, from the world topo map to something else. And I actually don't do that over here. Instead, I go over here to the base maps and I click on that. And once I get there, I can choose something else. And I'm going to actually choose this dark gray canvas that I think will work pretty well with the purple colors over here. And let me just close that so we can see it and see, and I can see if I like the looks of that a little bit. Okay, let's go back to the layers over here and click that on. And now we're sort of back in the editing mode here. The next thing that I want to do is I want to add some sort of sketches on top of this. So the way that I add sketches um, on the map is by going down here and clicking Add Sketch. And this is actually going to create a new layer, which you can see appearing over here called the Sketch Layer. Now, you can have multiple sketch layers if you want to. Um, I'm still learning how to do some of this editing myself. Um, so it, it might be a little bit rough here what I actually do, but you can just depress your cursor and move the map around to show what you want to. And what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to make a little map here that sort of shows where the origins of my shoes are, our shoes are, something like that. And the first thing I'm going to do is just add sort of a destination. And I'm going to add a little circle here, and I'm going to draw, draw that circle around Alaska. And then I can, oops, it created two circles here. Um, let me get rid of one of those circles. By going um, up here to the properties for the sketch layer, 
clicking on that and I then I can go into one of those circles right there and I can edit it and I can just delete that layer and there I just have that one layer there if I want to. I can actually select that layer if I want to by clicking on it with the little selection tool over here and then I can bring it to where I want it to be. Um, I can also go into this polygon, circle polygon right here and I can give it a name if I want to. I can change the fill color to something else or the outline color as well. And I think I, I'll try to do that a little bit. Um, I'm going to edit the fill color right here. Um, I want something that sort of goes along with the purple but is different from the purple. So I think I'll sort of chain, um, choose something that is in the blue um, area here. And I'm going to say I'm done with that. And I'm also going to go to the outline color and for that, I'm also going to change ch selected blue, but maybe a slightly darker and blacker blue than I had before. Um, and I can make other changes here as well. Currently, the outline is one pixel. Um, let's see if we like this or not. So I unclicked it um, by it was selected and I just clicked off to the side right here. And I can live with that circle as it is. So that's the destination of where the shoes are going. Um, so that's a polygon. Of course, you could also put lines here um, and you could also put points as well. In fact, I am going to add a point to this. Um, let's first go to the properties of the sketches right here first and see that that circle is shown right there. Um, and we can open and close the features of the circle and see um, what it all looks like. We can close the entire sketch layer too if we want to. So you'll have to learn a little bit um, how to use each of these things to, um, you know, sort of get, get everything to make sense. Um, <clears throat> so the next feature that I want to do, I have that circle right there, is I'm going to draw a line. And so I want to go back to the sketch editing here. And now I'm going to draw a line. So I'm going to click on line here and you'll see it moved it down here from the current symbol to being a basic line. And then I'm going to draw a line from China over to Alaska. And one thing you should know, especially if you want to put things in here like arrows, if you cross the international date line on this basic web map, you'll end up with multiple arrows and things will look a little bit weird. We'll talk a little bit more about changing the projection um, on an ArcGIS online map later. So I'm not going to go all the way to the international date line. I'm just going to sort of click that line right here. And once I've clicked it, I can actually double click it. And then it becomes a finished line. I can go down and change the color as well. Um, and actually, I think I have a color here that I already want. So I'm just going to sort of choose that blue color right there. And you can add other things to it as well. For example, you can make it dashed. Um, you can have it, you can give it an arrow. So I'm going to give it an arrow here. Um, and you can change <clears throat> what the symbol of the arrow looks like as well. I think currently the arrow symbol might be black. Um, let's unclick it and see. I'll go to that selection tool again. And it actually looks about right. The whole arrow, though, looks like it's a little misshapen. It should probably be a little bit bigger than what it is. So let me go to the properties again and then click on that line and edit that line right here. And I can actually move things around. I can change the direction of the arrow. So I moved it up a little bit. Um, and I'm going to change the width of the arrow actually from just one pixel to something that's a little bit larger. Let's see, we'll make it six pixels and, and see what it looks like. Might be a little bit too big. Um, we could go in and change um, other aspects of we, if we wanted to. I think you can probably even edit the size of the arrow head. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to keep it easy and keep it like this. So now I've got a line and I have a polygon. We can add all sorts of other stuff as well. And another thing we can add will be text. So let me go back to properties, though. You can see where that line is and where that circle is. And you know, it might be useful to go in there and change it from the, the name of it being line to it being sort of the arrow so you know what it is, especially if you end up having um, more lines than just one single thing. Um, and we might do the same thing as well for the circle. 
um, go in and change this from circle and, and call it something like destination Alaska. So now we can see these two features are right here. I'm going to add a little bit of text next. I'm going to go back to the sketch layer right here. I am going to go now to the text creator right here, and I'm going to add some text, clicking it right here. And um, where you edit that text will be right in here. So you could add it as, um, you could change the name of it to something like that. And the title, so you know what the title is, but then of course you'd have to change the content of it. And the content of it could be the origins of Dorn's shoes. I'm going to change that color as well. I'm going to make it sort of a bluish color again, as I had it before, um, or I had these other things. And you can also, of course, change the font size, whether it's bold or not bold. Again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time messing around with that right now. I'm instead going to um, finish this and then um, de-click it and click it again so I can move it to where I want it to be. And you can see it appear here um, under the sketch features. Might be worth noting, you can go over here and actually turn this whole layer off and turn it back on. So if you wanted to add sketch one, sketch two, sketch three, you could sort of mess around with um, how you wanted those sketches to um, you know, show up for different types of maps that you might be producing. So this is what I would like you to um, experiment with this week, bringing some data in, and you'll bring data in just like you did last week, and then um, experiment with the, um, the sketch layers as well so you can start to make your map tell a little bit of a story. Uh, make sure with whatever you do, when you are done with this, you save it. So I'm gonna save mine as, and give it a name, Dorn's Shoe Story Map. And um, you might wanna save it in the appropriate folder as well. You don't need to give it tags or summary if you don't want to. Um, that then should be easy to bring up and look at later and edit it later. So that's all for now. Hopefully this helps a little bit. Of course, we'll talk a lot more about this in class.